right now, you know, my Android Wear kind of functionality review again, we're here to talk about Watchmaker. Watchmaker is basically a program that allows you to do custom watch faces, and allows you to tweak pretty much a lot of different elements of the watch face. Um, you know, like you see, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people with, you know, Rolex faces and everything like that, which, you know, were kind of, a lot of companies, a lot of watch companies have actually used cease and desist motions to prevent uh, software developers and watch face developers from making these because the intellectual property and all of that jazz, but has to stop people from making their own and everything like that. It's relatively easy. Basically, just get various images that are high quality, high resolution, and you, um, you know, basically do do your own. So this one is the Rolex Submariner, aka the Roly. Um, and you know, basically, this little icon here, what it allows you to do, allows you to put it into dim mode, which is when your watch isn't being interfaced with at the moment. Um, in low power mode, some watches have ambient mode, which basically puts it into a low power, minimal light level mode. And a lot of watches that has AMOLED screens, um, it basically would only light up the parts that are not black. So everything that's black is not on, so it uses a lot less power. Um, and with that, you know, this is when it's on, it's being interacted with, the second hand is moving and everything like that. And it tells you the features of each watch face, 24 hour time, analog day, you can customize the watch, you can customize the different images that are used in it and everything like that. And they have a Google Plus community that will tell you a lot more about this, how to use it and how to, you know, get the most out of it. I basically look for stuff that looks good, functional wise, and, you know, it's cool like that. My favorite watch faces are this one, Linear 12 Reverse. Now this is reverse because actually in the original version, the time was on this side, but me being a right-handed person, my way on my watch, my left hand, um, sometimes the sleeve would cover up half of the watch, but then with the reversed version, even if it's covered with half, I can still see the time. And it tells me here, as you can see, the temperature, the date, and my watch and my phone battery right there and everything, which is pretty cool. So then what you would do, you would first you would set your, matter of fact, I can do it right now, set my watch face back to Watchmaker on this, right here, and then that way, it'll go back to whatever last Watchmaker face that I had, which was actually the Casio. Now, where you can do the switch, um, you can, you know, use this, select whatever watch face that you want. Actually, that's the one that I have here now. Uh, there it is, linear 12 reverse, set watch face, your watch vibrates, sends it to wear, and then boom, there it is, right there. But also, there in the update for Watchmaker, it, allows, it actually allows you to switch on the watch between different Watchmaker faces, which you weren't allowed to do before. Um, the only thing Android would allow you to do was switch between watch faces that were, you know, had its own APK file where you downloaded from the store or anything like that. But now with the Watchmaker um, update, you can actually switch watch faces directly on the watch face. By and it's a setting you do basically you press and hold down on the sits position. So you do like that, and it comes up Watchmaker. You swipe it to whichever one. And this one I like for the Moto 360. I basically kind of edited it myself. Um, if any of you have, you know, used your uh, the Cradle, the key, the key, the Qi charger, Qi, Qi, whatever you want to call it, it's about QI, charger for it, you will notice this familiarity of this where it has a time in the middle and it has a blue ring around it that shows the charging, um, current charging condition. Now, what I did, I added a yellow ring on the inside of it that shows the charge of the phone as well, which I feel is, you know, useful. Um, and then I also put the date under the time, and then I also have that line under, which is basically an agenda view that tells me what's going on with my next appointment. And then at the top, it has the weather, your current location for it, and that little icon, you know, changes depends on whether it's, you know, sunny, whether it's raining, you know, cloudy, blah, blah, blah. So right now, according to this, it's sunny and 82 degrees in New York. And that time is 4 or 4 a.m. And that's, you know, my next appointment, which is an engagement photo meeting. Um, and yeah, so the blue line is the watch battery, yellow line is the phone battery, which is pretty useful. And my other recent, actually, watch face that I actually just found out of, oop, wrong thing, 
I actually just found out, uh, can I get out of here? That I actually just found out about is actually I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't want to like that face too much. Is the case you were trying, which I'm sure some of you will recognize as you know a classic and everything. Um, and yeah, and what I like about this is that when you look at it, it actually because a lot of a lot of people, problem that people have with these watches, uh, smart watches, is that they look too flat and they don't look like you know like it's an actual kind of watch. You know, depending on how you take the picture or take a video, like you know, you can it can be deceiving, it can look real. But with this, I feel like this actually looks like an actual Casio Tron, which is crazy. And also, you know, a lot of what Watchmaker allows you to do allows you to, you know, give you certain tap actions on the watch face. Because usually, if you tap on Android Wear, it'll just, um, you know, give you, you know, the menu like that, where you can, like, you know, swipe through different apps and everything like that. You can start apps like that. Uh, which you know is kind of mundane, whatever like that. You swipe through again, it gets to your contacts, and then you know you go to your speak now and do whatever tax you can do from that. But what this face allows you to do again, you can configure this totally in the Watchmaker app. You can set you know that adjust part, tap that, and it brings you to your settings, which is cool. You know sometimes it's annoying to have to go through here, swipe across like that. Why it's giving me that error actually? Weird. Um, so anyway, um, and then this allows you to turn a light on and off. It's pretty cool. Um, when it's dark and everything like that, again on AMOLED screens, this would do great because everything else is black. So anything that's not black is the only thing that's lit on the screen. The uh, Moto 360 actually has a full LCD, so this may not benefit as much as those with, like, let's say, the LG G Watch R, and possibly I think the LG um, Watch or Bane as well. Um, and then alarm mode, this is the stay lit wear thing that I was telling you about, it allows you to, you know, configure how long the backlight is going to stay on your phone before, you know, it automatically times out. I think I had it at six. Um, now I don't know why that. Oh, okay. Okay, you see now with this, the weather thing, I guess that's um, another app that I would have to install to give me the weather. I guess it would, it, it would uh, launch the weather Android Wear app on this, but I don't know if I'm going to install that really because if I'm looking at the weather, like again, I'm outside, I can see what the weather is, or I would have another watch face that will just tell me what the weather is. But again, I like this watch face, it's pretty cool. Um, now, it'll give you these options, you know, in the watchmaker kind of toggle only after you've enabled them from here. So let me put it back to this face. This is my most used face, pretty much. Go on to here, into watchmaker, and then you can see pretty much the different faces that I have. Um, what else? This is the LG G Watcher main face. Kind of downloaded that for kicks. Any Team NT fans here? You can see that little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, watch face. Pretty cute. Many, many, many word watches. I like this. Um, in ambient mode, it gives you black, so again, kind of looks cool. Gives you your current Wi Fi setting, your weather icon. I think that's the phone battery that it gives you and your moon phase, which again it gives you all those stuff. It tells you exactly what the what the um, features of the watch face are. Uh, what else? Different number of Rolex faces, Illuminator Pro stuff. This one I like because it gives you a lot of different tap actions where if you tap on each, any of those icons on your watch, it'll actually launch the respective application on your phone, which again, it's cool, but I can't really see how this could be useful because I'm, you know, open my phone or, or you know, go on my watch, tap the respective icons to open Chrome. It's pretty much the same way of me, you know, taking out my phone and unlocking and opening Chrome. Uh, Give or take either way, it can work, whatever like that. I thought it was pretty cool to tie it in with the whole lollipop theme on your phone. Um, HTC kind of styled um, watch face, it gives you the 
microphone and a watch battery at the top, gives you the date, and it kind of flips through um, the time, like how the old HTC phones, gives you the weather, high and low at the bottom, I believe that's what that is, there, New York, blah, 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 blah. Um, what else? And this actually, actually I'm going to put this on so you can see what this looks like. For Moto 360 owners, this is pretty cool because the Moto 360 actually has a slightly beveled edge screen on it. Um, on it. So what it'll do, because with the colors on the edge, it actually gives it a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to actually send that to the watch right now so you can see it. Now, I don't know how well you can, you're can you going to be able to see it on this. Kind of see on the edges how kind of gives you that effect. It's a lot easier to see in person, but it's really cool. I promise you, it's really cool. I promise you, it's really cool. I don't know how well that's actually coming out on the video, but hey, tried. And again, now that I've enabled that, I can tap and hold the sits part, and I can swipe through them. So I'm gonna go back to this one. That's why favorite why most used again. And um, yeah, so that's Watchmaker. You know, definitely top five app for Android Wear for Moto 360 and all of that. Whoops, kind of lost focus there. Where'd I go? I don't know what happened there. Let's try it again. And now it's an autofocus. There we go. So then it gives you a gives you a notification for Android Wear for widgets that you know showing widgets on Android Wear. Um, not sure how well that'll do on battery or whatever. Um, this is another cool watch face. Um, gives you an ambient mode and everything like that. Kind of gives you like an old kind of analog digital feel to it. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's Watchmaker. Um, you can download it um, from the Google Play Store. Um, and the Pro version, which I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that you get. Um, I was using a uh, cracked version before, but I decided a few bucks, it's definitely worth it. I definitely use it, so I definitely support the developer by actually buying it. Um, what else did I go that I forget to go through? Um, yeah, actually, I'll go through the other applications that I stated um, on a watch in a separate.